Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to have a look at a new device in the Unify Access line that not only functions as a door reader, but also has a built-in hub. Now people right off the bat may not think that having a hub built-in is a good idea, but I think this device is perfect for low security applications such as co-working spaces, lunchrooms, and doors with glass windows, but we'll touch on that a little bit later on. First, let's take a closer look at the Axis Ultra. And this is the box for the Unify Axis Ultra, which looks exactly the same as any of their other packaging, and they always do a great job with it. If we open it up from the top, we could pull out the casing, and then the Axis Ultra will be on top. I have already taken this one out, so we won't have uh, some of the sticker protection that is on the top of it. Now, right up top, we have the Unify Axis Ultra, and then we have this LED. This will tell us if it's a part of our controller or not. So if it's not a part of our controller, the LED will be white. If it is in our controller, then it will be blue. On the back of the Ultra Axis, we could see that we have a PoE import, and then we have our terminals for our request to exit, as well as our electric strike. And this could be all powered up with 12 volt accessories. Now underneath the reader, we have two bags of screws and anchors, and then we have our face plates. The top face plate, this is a plastic face plate, and it is white. And then this back bracket, this feels like it's a metal material. The Ultra Axis comes in at $129 USD MSRP, and we also get a grommet with this. And I'll show you the grommet and how we route our cables through it. And this is the grommet for the Ultra Axis, and you can see there's a hole in the back. If you're terminating your own cable, it would probably be best to push the cable through first before putting an end. But if you're using a patch cable, you could just push it through the hole. Now for our strike cable, we could see that there's a little slit on the bottom of the grommet, and that's where we're gonna push these cables through, so our 18-2 conductor. Once the cable's pushed through, we could put it in the terminals of the Access Reader. Another feature of the Access Ultra is this tamper switch that could be pressed up and down. I'm not gonna show you that now, but I'll show you when we're installing this on site. So let's go to site and get this installed. And this is the door that the Axis Ultra Reader will be going onto. Uh, this is our network room, but it will be changing out to G2 Reader Pro after the installation. Right now we are just in the uh, middle of the build. This is all the speaker guys cabling. We're not gonna worry about that, but we need to cut in a door strike. Uh, this is a wooden frame and I'll show you the tools that we'll be using. This most likely will just be voiceovers because it's gonna get loud. And then on the inside, we'll be putting the push button, the request to exit button on this side, and it'll all tie back into the reader. The electric strike that we're using is the Ubiquiti electric strike, and it's $79 USD, which is very reasonable. It comes with a bunch of different templates, as you can see here, Jay sticking into where the lock is gonna go. With the template now in place, we decided to use the Dremel Multi-Tool, and this is a wired tool. I prefer this over batteries, that way I don't need to worry about it being charged, and there's usually a plug nearby. This cuts into the wooden door frame very easy. It also does metal, but typically on metal strikes, we use just a normal Dremel tool. I will have a link down below. The next thing we need to do, we need to drill a hole where the strike is gonna go up towards where the reader is because we need to run a short piece of 18-2 cable for the electric stripe to go back into the ultra axis as well as for the push button. Once that's done, we're gonna pull the CAT6 down the wall, terminate it, and then put in our 18-2 for our electric strike and push to exit. From the hole that was drilled into the wooden frame, we're going to push an 18-2 up for our electric strike. This is just a short little cable. We're now connecting the electric strike to our 18-2 cable and then we're going to route the cable inside of the door frame and then attach the electric strike.
With the Axis Ultra connected to the network, I brought up the Unify Axis application and adopted it into Axis. And this is the finished result of the Unify Axis Ultra. We're going to take it off and then we're going to see how the tamper works. Uh, you will hear a buzzing sound once this comes off because there's a little button that is on the back of the actual reader. We've taken the faceplate off just to show you this tamper switch. So I will end up grabbing the reader and then we'll take it off and you'll hear it buzz. And this will also notify the admins. Going to use the Unify Identity app to open up this door. So we're going to click on it. And the door opens up. I hope you like that installation of the Axis Ultra. I will be doing a lot more Axis install jobs in the future. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But let's go through a couple of different things with the setting. As you saw, I was using Unify Identity free version and I set it up right in the Unify OS consoles and I have my name here. I could also send invites to anybody if they want to be able to use Unify Identity or we could use a fob or an access card. Another really cool feature about Unify Access, if we have it on our UMVR or our UMVR Pro, we could link it to cameras. The Ultra Access itself doesn't have a camera built in, but within this network room, you could see a camera showing up. I have a G4 Instant sitting inside the network rack. If we go over to my system log, we could go to door unlocks. From door unlocks, we could see that Cody McCallum entered the door with the mobile button, so Unify Identity, and then we could play that feedback and you'll be able to see me come in the door. Also, if we take a look at our critical alerts, we could see tampering detected with door BBCB, please take immediate action. And this would push out to us as well as make that noise if tampering does happen. Now, why did I say that these are good for low security places instead of high security places? Well, if you somewhat know what you're doing with access control, the terminals being on the back of the access reader, we could pull that access reader out, connect a request to exit button, click the button and then open the door. The access ultra would be great for co-working spaces, lunch rooms and things of that nature, but I would never put this on outside doors as that is critical. In saying that, would I recommend the access ultra? In 100% I would. One, it makes cabling easier. We only need to run a little cable down to our strike and our request to exit. It's only $129 and that's with the built-in hub and it's powered by PoE+. I could see myself installing this at a lot of places and we are currently working on a co-working space. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Axis Ultra and if you're not subscribed and want to see more on-site jobs, I have a job coming up with 11 doors and then we have another job coming up with 44 doors. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. All right, thanks.